Hello, uh, YouTube modeling uh, community. My name is Scott, um, or my channel is NewGuy84. Uh, you're probably wondering what's that uh, mean. Uh, I'm a new, I'm Guy, and I was uh, graduating from high school in 1984, so NewGuy84, but uh, you all can call me um, Scott. This is my first YouTube video where I actually speak, so uh, forgive me if I uh, may sound a little bit nervous or seems uh, maybe a tad bit unprofessional. I'll do the best I can. So uh, a little bit about the channel. Uh, I'm, I'm brand new to uh, model building. I haven't uh, done it since I was a kid. And um, so I'm giving it a shot here as an older guy. I'm 48 years old. And uh, I'm just, uh, I've been on um, permanent disability, so I'm trying to find things to keep me occupied. And so I thought I'd try uh, car building. Uh, I've been doing model trains, uh, model railroading since uh, 2014. I tried, I've been doing that, so I think this channel will be a little bit of both uh, cars and trains, and just to show the journey of. Um, maybe progressing in, in the hobbies. So uh, this won't be a tutorial channel or anything like that. It'll be just me showing uh, progress of, of what I'm doing and, and what's going on and uh, if I'm doing real bad or if I'm doing okay. So uh, I have a very limited budget uh, being I'm on a permanent disability. Uh, I don't have a lot of money so uh, the uh, tools and equipment and the supplies I will be using will be uh, probably not up to um, most modelers' standards, so I, uh, forgive me for that, but uh, I'll do the best I can. Most of my paint jobs, or all, all my paint jobs, will be uh, with rattle cans uh, until I can find a uh, airbrush, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. So uh, I just uh, finished a car about... Um, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. In fact, I put up a slideshow um, about it. It's just uh, shows pictures of the car progressing and then how it finished with some music. Uh, it's on my channel. You can check it out if you like. Um, this is the car right here. It's a 93 T-Bird. It's the uh, Hut Strickland uh, McDonald's car. Um, I wasn't really looking for a... Um, NASCAR to build. I just happened to find it on eBay. Uh, it was brand new in the box, still sealed plastic. I figured, well, I'll go for it. Uh, I bought it for, uh, you won't believe this, for $3.85. Uh, and I think shipping was just about the same price. So for under $8, I got a, a brand new model kit, still sealed, and it gave me an opportunity to um, at least build something and uh, if I screwed it up, I wouldn't feel too bad because it was it was eight dollars. So uh, this this is it. Uh, like I said, you can see the uh, finished uh, product is through a slideshow and a little bit of progression. I didn't take a lot of pictures of it, but just a, a few to give an idea of uh, how it came out. So so this is it. Nothing perfect, but uh, maybe for my first uh, shot, I think it came out pretty decent. So uh, so that's it. The McDonald's. Number 27, it's a monogram kit, and uh, overall I think it came out pretty decent. The uh, paint I used, <laughs> you probably most of you guys are going to laugh, is the Rust-Oleum uh, 2X Ultra Cover. Um, it was inexpensive. I bought it at uh, Home Depot for just under $4, and uh, it, it came out pretty good uh, overall, I think. I, I um, I cleared it with uh, Future. I just brushed it on, and I and I learned um, from some mistakes I made on it uh, what to do and what not to do with Future and brushing it on. So hopefully um, I won't do that again. And um, what I like to do is uh, I have another car I'm going to do. Uh, I also bought this off eBay, and um, again. I'm, I don't have a lot of money, so this is the best I can do. Uh, this guy was selling a lot of um, uh, models on eBay with free shipping, so I bid on a bunch of them, and I actually was able to get one, um, and I didn't think I was going to be able to. So uh, 
the one I'm going to do now is the uh, AMT uh, 1949 Mercury. It's a three-in-one kit, and um, I wasn't even sure it was a three-in-one when I um, bid on it. I just thought, you know, if I get a kit, it's a kit. It's, it's something to get me some experience. So I uh, I was able to get it, and it only cost ten dollars. So ten dollars with free shipping, and it was brand new into plastic. And um, so that's what we're going to do. That's my uh, I guess my intro to the channel is to do this kit, and um, I haven't done a whole lot to it yet. I just got the body out and was messing with it, and um, I was able to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the um, version with the um, rear fender skirts on it. It has an option to make it lowered and stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and do that one. I thought that would be kind of cool to do, and so we're going to go for that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do for paint yet. Um, I might just use this red I got left over from the McDonald's car. I'm not sure. I've already had the paint. I hate to do two cars in a row with the same color, but like I said, um, I don't know if I can go out and afford to buy new paint. So I might use that paint uh, just for now, and, and we'll see. Uh, how it turns out. I, I didn't really want to do it in red, but I got it, so I might as well use it. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I probably need some primer. Um, I don't really have primer. I have this cheap Walmart <laughs> um, spray paint that I thought was primer originally, um, but come to find out it does say spray paint on it. So. Uh, I actually used it on the McDonald's car and it came out pretty good, so I don't know, I might still spray it first with uh, this uh, gray, what I call primer, which it's really not just spray paint, and then go over it with the uh, Rust-Oleum Red, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I wanted to, um, these um, trim lines here, uh, I don't know how to bare metal foil or anything like that, and I thought about just you know, sanding them off, but uh, the more I thought about, the more afraid I was to do it, so I didn't want to screw the car up, so I'm just going to leave it, and then um, I think uh, Classic uh, classic Plastics uh, 101 uh, uses those Prismacolor um, markers, or the, the Sharpie markers uh, with, a, I guess would be a silver color, so I might try to do, to, uh, do that on a trim and door handles. Just for now, just to, to get me started and, and come up, hopefully come up with something that's uh, going to be decent and, and look um, good, I hope. So we'll see what happens. I'm just going to leave the um, lettering on the uh, hood and the emblem, and I'll do the best I can with that. And um, I don't know, I'm looking forward to doing it. Um, it's uh, obviously a, a completely different car than the NASCAR. It'll be you know some chrome, you know chrome bumpers and things, and it this has actual doors and door handles and stuff I didn't have to do with with the uh, NASCAR. So uh, hopefully it'll uh, it'll turn out okay, and uh, you'll you'll be able to take the ride with me. Hopefully, if I can continue to uh, upload these videos and just show you uh, how it's going. So right now uh, I'm just deciding on what to do with the color. Uh, if anybody has any ideas on this uh, uh, this stuff here, this uh, gray, cheap Walmart $1.50 <laughs> uh, primer-ish paint, uh, you can uh, please uh, leave me a comment or message me. I know it's not the best idea in the world, but uh, when you don't have a ton of money, uh, you do the best you can with, with, with what you got. And I've learned that through uh, model railroading as well as you just use what you have and, and hopefully it turns out to be something nice. Um, I guess the bottom line is that I'm, you're, you're building a model for yourself for the most part, not shows or anything. I, I'm, <laughs> I'll probably never be able to do something like that, but at least uh, this will uh, be something to keep me occupied, be fun to do. Um, there's a lot of great videos out there that I've learned from, from uh, um, different YouTubers. Uh, Classic Plastics, uh, Chris Chapman, you know, the uh, Rusty Nuts uh, model shop, uh, 
Um, I think it's MC Model Works and just a ton of other videos and, and, and things I've watched. Um, Paul Turley is another one. Of course, uh, Dr. Cranky is another one that I've learned different things off of. So uh, this is just going to be a process and a journey through um, whatever happens with uh, modeling. So uh, right now I'm going to be doing this uh, 49 Mercury. Uh, as it stands right now, I should have enough to do it in this Apple Red Rust-Oleum, uh, unless my wife um, lets me go out and buy another can of paint or something. Um, but other than that, it's it's probably going to end up being red. Uh, for the interior, I'm still um, I saw classic plastic when I want to do some stuff on the interior where you just paint it while you can brush it in or whatever. So I might try that. If anybody has any tips on um, Painting the, the uh, interior uh, of the, uh, at least of the inside of the body, um, that'd be great. Uh, I think I've watched some videos on it, but if anybody has any information on a good way to do that without getting splashed all over the outside, or do I do I need a mask and then paint and then so? Just uh, I don't want to mess it up. I want it to be as look as you know g good as I can get it. So hopefully it'll turn out good. So um, I'm going to continue working on the body a little bit more, make sure we're good to go, make some decisions based on what I have here and any comments uh, you guys might make as far as um, painting and what I should use for uh, primer, no primer, maybe I don't have to use primer, I, I'm not sure. So uh, I'll be relying on some information uh, from you folks. and. Uh, if there isn't isn't any information, I'll just go ahead and uh, I'll probably just go ahead and paint it red and uh, call it good, and then we'll just uh, we'll go from there. We'll be clearing it with future again probably because uh, I already have it. I got you know a, a big bottle of it, so I don't think um, I need to worry about that. I'll just uh, uh, try to do a better job this time. I, I think the NASCAR came out pretty decent, but. Um, I think maybe you know, I could have done a little bit better job on it, but I think overall, I think overall it came out pretty good. So um, and that's about it. Like I said, guys, this isn't going to be a tutorial a video series or anything like that. Or this channel, it's just going to be me trying to fumble my way through uh, model building and relying on um, other people's skills as far as. Uh, video tutorials to uh, get me through it. Um, uh, this McDonald's model came out way better than anything I ever built when I was a kid. I didn't I never painted anything. I just <laughs> slapped it together. Glue everywhere and it was they were usually a mess but uh, at least I, I feel pretty decent about this one. Uh, the, the decals on the on the hood and the um, roof didn't come out as good as I wanted them to. Um, the McDonald's logo was, it came down real far onto the front, so I had to let it set up and then cut, and I ended up getting some bubbles and stuff that I really couldn't get rid of. Um, I, I got them to lay flat a little bit. I used, um, I had this micro set and um, micro sole uh, stuff uh, that I had from um, putting uh, decals on model train stuff, so use some of that to get the lay flat. It came out okay, but it could have been a bunch better, but um, for the first time I, I think it was okay. So um, I think that's about it, uh, guys. So uh, if uh, if you want to subscribe, you can do that. If you want to like, you can do that. I'm going to leave a comment, leave me a message, whatever um, you want to do. That'd be, that'd be great. Uh, I appreciate any help anybody could give me. Like I said, this is going to be a very budget, uh, <laughs> budget friendly um, model building channel. Hopefully, um, if you want to call it that, I don't want to um, be an embarrassment to the model community, but um, I, I, I want to do a good job. So um, I appreciate everybody uh, watching, and um, hopefully, I'll have an update uh, soon on the Forty Nine Mercury. On, um, at least I'll have maybe um, it painted or primered or something and then um, 
maybe I'll also have a, a few things like the motor and stuff um, uh, painted and put together and stuff. So we'll, we'll see how that all goes. Um, I, I do everything in the garage out here, so uh, I don't really have a real workbench. I have a, a, a folding table that is the workbench, so it's kind of crowded. But I think overall, that it, uh, at least I have a place to operate and function. So, and uh, that's about it. So uh, again, thank you very much, and uh, I hope to see you guys soon. Uh, please subscribe, like, and uh, comment if you like. All right, thank you very much. We'll see you next time.